it's, it's a little tough a little because we, the window is not large enough maybe. But what, what we have in here are three rooms that are uh, climate controlled. I'll stand behind you. Um, basically class 10,000, which is uh, one particle per 10,000 cubic centimeters, something like that. Um, and uh, by maintaining very strict standards on what goes in and what comes out, uh, we actually do a lot better than that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the three rooms are dedicated to one is, and it's behind that wall, so you can't see it, but that's the lithography. That's a, a class uh, 100, so it's even more climate controlled. And from there, we uh, load the NDE. So the NDE is actually loaded in a hood inside a class 100 room, so I think what you need to be a class I've one. Class uh, so was really, really uh, super clean. Super clean, yeah. right. And then uh, all the lithography's done in there, it's a yellow room, and then uh, the wafers come out here and we diagnose them, so we have x-ray diffraction and two uh, photoluminescent units, and those things give us basically the optic, optical quality, so we know right away whether it's going to be a good laser or or not, you know, it's a lot of that's part of our debug process. And then we have other, we have a furnace there, uh, spectrophotometers, uh, laser scriber. So these are uh, the oxidation is the uh, key process for us to uh, oxidize underneath the uh, the growth structure and to create a, a, a an optical mirror on the bottom side. Of the, of the structure. Okay, so that's why when he grows the mirror, he grows layers of uh, uh, gallium arsenide and aluminum arsenide, and then when we cut them down and put them into the oxidation furnace, they, they oxidize uh, laterally and give us uh, a dielectric. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then well, let's move around to the hmm. other side. Yeah, that's the same thing. Here we have the third room, which contains, uh, we call this the dry room because it's all dry etching, deposition processes and whatnot. Uh, for example, the Temescal, that's the unit on the, on, on the far wall, um, that's a, um, an electron gun deposition system and it deposits dielectrics. So we have uh, two sources. We have a silicon oxide and a titanium uh, oxide, and we do them in sequence. Boom, 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 boom. Do seven, seven of those in sequence uh, on the top surface. So we've already done the oxidation on, on, on underneath, and then this goes as the final step on the top, and that creates the optical cap. And that sequence of layers goes over everything. So it, it covers, it coats everything, okay? It's a dielectric, so it's good passivation. And then on the waveguides, we now have, so the waveguide is a ridge running along the surface, and we have this dielectric mirror going over it, so the light is totally trapped. It's trapped on the bottom by that, by that mirror, and it's trapped on the top and the sides by this mirror. So we make submicron waveguides, you know, like they're 0.1, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and the light is very well guided. How much loss is there? Uh, the loss is, um, in, in our waveguides, is, 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 uh, we don't have the firm number on it. Actually, that's a, part of the testing that's going on right now, but we're expecting to get less than one dB per centimeter. Which uh, is, is good. Is, is good yeah. and, and, and is necessary for uh, you know high density interconnect. Um, of okay. course, we always we also have the option of a, an in-plane optical amplifier for boosting if we need it. Okay, so that's a decision that's yet to be made. To how to, to what extent do we need the uh, the boost? But with one that dB per centimeter, we can do uh, most of the functions we need. Okay. And if you think about interacting elements um, in, in our circuit design structures where, where we have an optical signal propagating, um, it never has to go nearly that far before it gets, uh, we, uh, get, gets a kick. Yeah. How many staff here? Um, we have five PhDs and four non-PhDs. And there's a what percentage of your uh, your staff's time is devoted to this technology? Oh, the 
staff here is full time. 100%. Yeah. 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 No solar down here. No solar down here. Well, we, we, we get some solar, but uh, we're not doing solar. Now, there's no other projects you do outside of this technology. No, it's just this technology, right. But it turns out that Paulette is has a, a, a big a big opportunity in solar, turns out. Yeah. Okay. Right. And this is for the cell. Okay. Um, and the opportunity is that the the solar cell, the the, the, the multi multi junction, the multiple junction solar cell can be fabricated with our techniques with a with a transistor at the top level. So now you can have be generating the energy, you can be controlling the energy and doing power management and various other functions simultaneously. When you say transistor, you mean a thyristor? Which no, well, that too. Yeah. But uh, what we've demonstrated is a transistor. Oh, okay. So we made it work, and the cell worked. Is this an enhancement to the uh, Bowling Spectral Lab cell? Uh, no, Sorry, well, it's a, it, it, it's a triple. Okay. It's a triple, but it's our own unique. Okay. And uh, those are proprietary. Uh, All right. I well. haven't. There's no patent, nothing yet. But we just did it, right. and it worked. So, actually, at this point, it's a double. <laughs> but uh, the, triple, the triple. The triple is there. Uh, <laughs> it's quantum dots, yeah, and the quantum yes. dots are going to be the way. Will you be patenting that? Well, I don't know what to do with it right now because um, we're out of solar. You know, so. Uh, it could be sold them to some. That could be licensed. 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 Exactly. But um, you know, we're kind of. I, I, we just filed a major patent for the resonators and the, all, all the things that the, the implant stuff, and uh, the, uh, so there's no money. There's no, there's, no, there's no legal money. That's the focus. 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 Focus is the milestones. Right. Right. It, that's not on the milestones. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, focus exactly. is our milestones. Focus, the focus right. is right on the milestones. Yeah. So that's Jeff right. 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 I, I didn't want to mess with the. the you can revisit it later. Well, I mean, this is the thing, you know, but um, I, I don't want to uh, just let that go. It's, right. It's, it's got too, it's much, important. too much potential. Yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, any any other questions? I mean, the, the pr procedure.